And I load in to just see a man being stabbed to death. Oh, cool. Walls are in the way. I'm safe now. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. It's 4.35 a.m. Let's get my ass up to that theater. You shouldn't go that way, dude. There's a bad man. There's a bad man doing stabbings on people. Oh no, the woman. Stop that. Where'd he go? Shit. I should murder him and harvest his organs. I mean, so it's just the right thing to do. Quickly, before she ca he catches and murders that woman- I should've just stayed over there, damn it. Ugh. Are you faster than me? Slow down. Uh. If only I could throw my knife. When do I teach the Harris books that skill? I like the part where you won't attack me because you're fighting her. He's his, he is faster than me. Aha! Yes, it is I, Hero Man, who is Hero. Uh, are you alright, miss? Well, that's a very long death animation. Ooh, organs. Done it. We've done it, y'all. We've done it. It's proven. No, it's not proven yet. I don't know what to make of that, actually. We don't know what to make of that yet. Uh, he was- that was, uh, that's normal. When villagers murdered by the looter and isn't looted yet, then they, uh, have- they always had loot items on them, so that may not affect the organs, I don't know. I gotta find out whether or not- fuck. What I gotta find out is what effect it happens- what happens- what happens when the guards kill him, the guy. Ah! 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 No! 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 Ah! That's a scary time for that to happen. Ah! Okay, we're good. We're back. My, uh... Whew. Wow. That was actually working for me. My, uh... I guess my mouse wasn't bound to the game, so I clicked out of the, the bounds of the game and it minimized. That was scary. Ah, damn it. Get rid of the razor and get that one. Let's run around with claws instead of shaving razors, I guess. Because, uh, is the body still back here? It's probably not, is it? I might as well grab the claws. Back. Oh, it's gone. These bodies decompose quickly. Yeah, if I'm gonna- if I'm gonna be fighting a lot of bandits in this game, and getting the loot, uh, I might as well have a stack of claws available then instead of the shaving thing, because that stack's probably gonna get a lot bigger. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, really confined at the moment by the fact that they took the already crowded inventory screen of The Bachelor and added, like, eight more items to it, and I'm like, the fuck? What do I- how do I fit them all? Maybe this will be the playthrough where I get really good at fighting. <laughs> Alcohol. Oh my god, I can't carry a bottle. Shit. Uh, needles. I guess I just won't be big on trading with some of these children, I guess, because I can't even carry the items I need for them. So I don't- I didn't even have a bottle in my inventory already at that point. Do I have no water? No, because rations- Oh. Water goes there, empty bottles go there. That's gonna be confusing. They don't go into one screen. That'll- Alright, new thing to worry about. You need a drink, buddy? Booda booda boop. Click. Click. You are a suspicious, uh, suspicious crowd. Your mugs scream of penal labor. Each of you is a murderer to be. What, am I wrong? Damn, Harrisbex. Talking like the bachelor over here. So what? Did you find out whose guys the Shabnak assumed yesterday? Someone mentally unsound or a soaker like you. Yep. We're good on getting along with people, is what I'm learning here. Get on in there. Today, the killer was identified. Its nature turned out to be completely unexpected. The enemy is found and named. 
It's called the sand pest. The contagious plague is threatening to ruin everything here. How can a killer like this be punished? How can a villain like this be struck? He can't. It's impossible. By pulling a knife on it, you'll just cut an innocent body. I think I should go. Nothing to be done here anyway. You should go. Go then. Wherever you please. Shoo. That's a very different looking executor in that cutscene. Curious about that. Only knowing our fortune in advance could we predict our conduct. Please, allow me to introduce myself. I am Mark Immortal, the impresario of the theater and master of puppets. Would the kind sir like to see the mime show? Yes, I would. Wait for the announcement then, it will begin soon. Are you planning to impress me, impresario? Oh, you will also have a role here. A major one, kind sir. I'd rather just watch. We find very few ungrateful people when we are able to confer favors. Rest. All I need now is some rest. Popping in just to make sure you're alive and well. Yep, you're not one of my bound. Goodbye. Ooh. That's what I thought. Quickly, before he dies. Son of a bitch. God damn. All right. Uh, lock picks. Oh yeah, those those are weapons, right? Somehow. Yeah, lock picks are weapons, so I can loot those still. Ow! There goes all that nice health I had. Uh, it must be busted or zero ability zero. Yep. All right. That's what's happening. I was like, how in the world is he not dead yet? Because. I landed a lot of hits. In another situation, that would have been a very clean, easy, free kill. Is me getting <clears throat> me getting to attack a guy while he's fighting somebody else, especially for that long. Like he wasn't landing hits. It seemed for a very long time. Hey, herb. Oh, we gotta keep an eye out around here, huh? Anything that stands out? Hopefully I can get everything I need from herbs and organs and trading with those people. That and money, of course. Because if that's not enough, there's another one, isn't it? Yep. Because uh, if that's not enough, that's going to be rough. Because I... Uh... Why can't I pick that? Because my inventory is full? Still? <laughs> uh... Get rid of the hook. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna lean into this stuff. Jesus Christ, my inventory. Alright. That's one, two, three, four, five herb slots, four organ slots. Those two items are nine slots already. Then I need one for the empty bottles. Those are kind of significant because that's how I get my bandages. I think those are worth getting. That leaves me with two slots at the, at the moment, until something else comes up where I can carry something else around, which right now I'm carrying the razors because the enemy drops them, and then the, uh, the watch, the pocket watch, for no particular reason, it's just an option. Speaking of healing... 
I was in a bad place. I should deal with my food a little bit. Oh boy. That's not good. Thought I might have had more food. Damn it. I went into this knowing that day two is when things get more expensive, based on what happened last time. But I don't think I had money. Right now I have 2700, it's at least something. But yeah, I didn't really have money before and that was a whole problem I had to deal with. Who are you running from? Maybe just everyone, because everyone sucks in this town? Herp. Herp. Herp, herp, herp. I've got bad news for you, sir. Ah. I will save you, sir. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. There we go. Just go right up in there. New strategy. Let somebody else get attacked, run up behind the guy, run into him until my hitbox makes contact with him because I'm so close to him, and then just spam. <laughs> and then I'll hopefully land enough hits fast enough that I can get him before he turns around. Before I was being more cautious, in case he might turn around at any moment. Oh, I need those guys to heal after fighting you guys. Oh my god, even- yeah, he's been looted, then he still had organs. Alright, so hopefully I'll just have such a big stack of organs that I can make good with those. Although the bottle looting is off to a good start. Damn. That was just 10 more bottles right there. Alright. 11 bottles. 11 bottles of bottle on the wall. Uh, let's go talk to... Let's see. And no letters have come in yet. I'm gonna go talk to the hunchback. The hunchback is supposed to be somebody you can trade organs with, and I either missed that option or it wasn't available yet before. But when I looked at my organs in my inventory, they're like, you can trade- I think that's what happened, right? They said... The gatherers and the hunchback from the atrium should be willing to trade for something. That's concerning. Because, uh... At least, assuming things... Assuming this is one of the things that's, that stays the same, uh, the Hunchback died when I was a bachelor. It wasn't even late in the game. I think it was the first half of the game when he died. Like, probably near the midpoint, but still. So, whatever value Hunchback has for me is going to go away. But yeah, right now I'm trying to maximize my usefulness while I wait for, uh letters to start coming in, and for today's story to start. The type of stuff that you might be more implied and more off-camera in later parts of the series, as we kind of kill time. Oh boy. But at the moment, I'm kind of in the, in the camp of like, hey, we're just playing as the Harris Specs for the first time, let's check this out. Oh my god, can you do that freaking stab every time? It's amazing. Just do the stab, asshole. There we go. I- I really wish, like... It doesn't really make much sense to me why there's a limitation there. Why can't I just make the Bachelor stab every single time? Or the Harris- you know, the character, I mean. Why can't- why can't I make him stab every time? What- why is that an- why is that RNG? It's his arm. Because one of those attacks is just better than the other one. As far as I can tell, the stab even has better range. In addition to... Uh, I don't know if it's stronger or not, but it's faster and has better range, and if I could just spam that, like, Kingdom Come deliver Deliverance, just go non-stop thrusting, uh, I would kick ass. I would kick all of the ass. I don't know why I took a sidetrack to check these. I could check them afterwards, and what, and what I find inside won't affect... What I find inside can't be traded with Mr. Hunchback. I need to find more of the guys that can repair my weapon. More often. Because that's an issue. I'm gonna wear through those quickly. I could see this character running around with having more than one instead of just one. The morning of the second day has come. 30 people are dead. It all ends in less than 11 days. So, you got it? No tail behind you? What? fuck are you talking about? I got it, I got it, come on, take it, time is of the essence. 
Oh, the org. <gasps> you can trade them for medicals. Ah. <laughs> Price four four. Cool. That's twenty. He was just being like vague. Oh, it's one for. Oh. Oh, that's all in, huh? They're all equal value to him. That's interesting. So I should trade the lower value things. I think the kidney and the heart were lowest value, weren't they? Yeah, they're one one. There we go. He, um, uh, seems to not value things. He doesn't seem to know how to change prices of things. Like, I feel like these are items that have different values than each other, but he just values them all at one. But also, these are two healing items that have different power as far as, as, as far as I've been able to tell, I think the bandage is stronger than the tourniquet. But he also values them both at four. He's not, doesn't have great numbers here. Alright, though. I'll go for that. Try to keep the hearts. Never trade the hearts with the hunchback, because those seem to be higher value elsewhere. Day two, in which the Harrispex, under any circumstances, gains more than he loses for the first and last time. Aww. Good news, no matter what happens today, you're gonna be better off at the end than you were at the beginning. And that's never going to happen again, fuck you. Thanks. Thanks, life. Any letters yet? Nope. Uh... Well, I'm right here, so let's talk to the bachelor if I can. Short of that, I'll talk to the Vlads. Since they seem to be interested in me, although they're not members of my bound. And then if that doesn't work, I'll check somewhere else. I can come up here again, and there he is. From now on, everyone will have to stay in. That's for sure. Have you come into your father's inheritance yet? What's in it to you? Because it's likely content to contain valuable information. I am, of course, quite skeptical towards those prehistoric practices. But these days, anything could be of help, considering the circumstances. Does the inheritance include your father's notes? It might. I am currently studying the records of the first outbreak. If at least a tenth of those accounts is true, then a, catastroph a catastrophe is upon us. Yet Isidore Burak had found a way to overcome the beast. If there are any notes on that left, they may save us all. What is the first outbreak? Stanislav Rubin. He was one of your father's apprentices, by the way. Told me that an outbreak of a mysterious disease had already happened once in this town. An outbreak that bore many resemblances to the one that killed Simon Kane. Go on. The disease had spread through one of the poorest districts back then and was only miraculously contained. It was only raging for two or three days, but the memories it has left are still soaked with fear so strong that, well, what I'm saying is Isidore's inheritance may very well be of use. I see. Vlad Ogumski seems to be following your endeavors quite closely. He's one of the three most influential people in this town. I am positive that if you ask for his help, the inheritance will find its way into your hands immediately. The word of the three rulers is the only law around here. I was on my way to see him anyway. Come back to me after you get it. I'm sure you'll be able to- I'm sure we'll have a very lively conversation then. I have a strong suspicion you are about to stumble upon quite a few mysteries, and that I should sh shed some light on them. Will you come? I will. You look unhealthy. Not yet. You look unhealthy. How come poor Lara Ravel has this much money? Unbelievable. Don't you come near me. These options. Why is it that you hate me so much? You smell of blood. Oh, you've got a keen nose. I've got a keen heart. Heart? My favorite part. Stop it. I want you to stop coming to my house. You'll have to bear the smell of blood for as long as I have business to discuss with your tenant. Interesting. It's a whole different dynamic we don't know about. That character hating the Harrispecs. And having to put up with it on a daily basis. Because the Harrispex never came to the Bachelor's house. As far as I'm aware. Or as far as I can remember. In the entire Bachelor campaign. 
could be wrong about that. She might have to tell you at one point that it happens. Although, Eva Jan herself kind of reduces as a character. She doesn't do much over the course of the campaign, and then she very abruptly dies pretty early. Then you more or less spend the second half of the campaign with a different character who is not a character. Like, the, the, uh, I almost said wildling. The step person that moves into your house is just a mannequin as far as personality goes. Not grabbing needles because they don't fit in my bag, right? Technically, ah, uh, I mean, t uh, technically I don't have any more organs. And all of the people who uh, shed organs everywhere are currently gone. So admittedly, I should look around here for herbs. Uh, the people who I kill for organs are going to be gone until tomorrow night, probably. Because uh, the uh, the crime parts of city where the looters are looters are aren't going to happen until tomorrow, I believe. So, based on that, I actually might want to hold on to a couple barter items that I throw away at the end of the day if I don't find somebody to give them to. Hmm. I do wonder if, Har if there are Haro Specs players that just don't loot the garbage at all. That might be valid. Once you have, once you have a better understanding of where to find the herbs, and also are getting all those organs, your options for you to trade them with might quickly mean that you don't need to do anything else. Alright, so let's, let's see. Vlad Olgimsky's invitation. The issue of your inheritance has been resolved. See me for additional information. Take great care. Olgimsky. This might be a waste of time, but I'm going to talk to his son. Because I'm right here. And it might save me a trip. Or they might do that same crap where they're like... Talk to me after you talk to my father. I'm like, damn it, dude, I'm right here. Can you just, can you save me a trip? I'm busy. And they'll be like, talk to my son before. Shit, I said that wrong. <laughs> talk to the hand. Yeah, there we go. Nailed it. Boom. Crushed by these walls. Master Brooke, we have prepared a shelter for you. Nice to hear that. You mustn't think that we're shutting the door on you, though. We'll always be happy to accommodate you at our place. My sister and I have persuaded our father that the lump should be become your fortress, but your enemies are powerful. Invisibility will protect you from them. What kind of shelter is it? It's your father's secret laboratory. The place is modest, but well hidden from prying eyes. I'm not sure... Hmm. What exactly you're planning to do there, but if at least a tenth of Katarina's, um, prophecy comes true, then you'll need a secluded hideout. That is exactly what I need. Moreover, I have spoken to Bachelor Dankovsky. He is taking a lot of interest in your affairs lately. He seems to care about you personally. He dropped me a hint that you may need your father's potion brewing apparatus. It is there. Is it the same device that my father used? Yes. You may remember the extraordinary properties of the herb called Twire. You can smell the spiciness. Can you smell the spiciness in the air? It's Twire. Twire is extremely rare. But also, uh, but using said device, is a, a skilled person could, well, you'll get the hang of it soon enough. So that means people do know about this place, doesn't it? I cannot say for sure if Isidore used to bring his apprentices and, hmm, strangers over there, of course, but knowing his character, I would assume that he did not. I don't think so. I found myself, I found out about it, I, I myself found out about it by coincidence. It's really well hidden. Fine, please show me where it is. The, f the machine. Ah. I know that location, and I've never been in it. Interesting, Haraspex was imprisoned right here, and that's where his, his home's gonna be? 
This is my father's hidden laboratory. Olkimski chose this place to be my hideout. It also serves as my home for the time being. Hmm. Right there, huh? Who lives without folly is not so wise as he thinks. I wholeheartedly wish you luck, Master Burke. We're gonna obtain Twire. You can gather it yourself, of course. Thankfully, it's more than plentiful this year. Even the old-timers don't remember anything like this. But it takes time. If the year is bountiful, a professional gatherer can spend a day just to find five or six blades. This year, however, you can you could gather 50 in the same time. That means there are professional gatherers, right? Of course. It's an art. People dedicate their lives to it. Oh, how they cherish their twire. They grow it, watch over it, nourish it, give it beautiful names. They whisper it out of the ground. They sing songs to it, and it all works. How do I find them? There are quite a few huts scattered across the steppe. The nearest one is in Earth, to the southwest of the Great of the Gates of Sorrow. Those are the most ob oblivious ones. The ones in the stone yard and the steppe behind the station are better at hiding. It would be better for you to seek out the ones by the gates. Hmm. Southwest of the Gates of Sorrow, the stone yard, and the step behind the station. I hope it isn't too far away from the town. The Gatherer's Hut? It's between the gates and the cemetery. Just a few steps into the step. And I'll find it easily. I found one of them, at least. Did he just give me a map or anything? This is a living place of the Odong, otherwise known as Worms. They're shepherds and vagabonds, half-people, outcasts, and kin. Gatherers of herbs and roots. There's the other one down there. And then one- that, yeah, that one's by my house, at least. Yeah. But those symbols were always there, right? Those three symbols? I think so. So now, now I know all three of those indicate those locations, too. Heart. It always looks like a, uh, somebody pointing that heart. Uh, heart blood thing. Huh. I wonder who else she... So we're not doing maps yet. Well, he kind of... I mean, he did mark stuff on my map. He marked four things on my map, but I mean, like, we're not doing the other type of map yet. Uh... Uh, I'm gonna, it's gonna take some time to get comfortable with his herb gathering, his herb searching, because they could be anywhere. I think they could be in like basically any field, any planter, anywhere around town. I found them in the middle of town, and that makes things spookier. I really hope that when I get to my father's lab... Oh wait, let's go to... Ogimski. Yeah. This should be the dad. Gotta keep an eye out, because those plants could be anywhere and they're kind of important to me. I don't fully understand what to look for yet, but the first time I saw one, even at the beginning, it stood out to me more than, than you might expect. When I, when I spotted that one out in the field, I'm like, hey, that plant looks weird. But they're not, like, purple or anything. They're just, like, a slightly different pale color, or they're a different, a different model in a ocean of repeating models. Many a mickle. Makes a muckle. There's no hurry. I've got good news and bad news for you, Master Burke. Predominantly bad, but the good was there. But the good is there. Let's start with the with the good news. You may come into your inheritance. No one will dare get in your way. There's no proof of your wrongdoing. You may take the keys from Alexander Sabarov. I can't imagine how they got into his hands, but never mind. That's the good news. 
Who is this Alexander? Pray see. It's n I'm not the only one to bear the burden of authority in this town. The power is divided among three families, the Ogimskis, the Canes, and the Sabarovs. The Sabarovs are mostly in charge of, shall I say, the executive power. The enforcement machine, so to speak. And the bad news? The bad news. I've spoken to Sabarov about your case. He and he is, to say the least, furious. It seems that he's set on destroying you by any means possible, disregarding my protection and my personal warranty of good faith. What have I done to make him so angry? It's not him, I think, but rather his wife. Katerina is a mistress, a woman of a mystical gift. Her opinion is well respected, no matter what kind of person she is. She, and she has had a vision of you bringing some horrific bloodshed to pass. That is the price of your ascension to glory, according to her. Is that so? I had no plans for mass bloodshed. I believe you, I do. But can it really be helped? Alexander trusts his wife more than he'd ever trust me. The Sabarov's duty is to maintain order, and such a discovery about your mission couldn't make them happy. It seems that Alexander has taken upon himself to stop you from filling his, this, hmm, prophecy. Is your name enough to hold him back? Yes, for a while. But the news of Simon Kane's death, the rumors of some epidemic, they're stirring our small town. The people are scared. Alexander is demanding emergency powers, and if he gets what he's asking for, I won't be able to help you like I do now. The lump is not, will not protect you then. So what do we do? We hope for the best. I have arranged for a hideout to be prepared, just in case. You'll be able to lay low and continue your work there, even if Sabarov does get the power and orders me to turn you in. The place isn't exactly comfortable, but it is reliable. It will become your home. What kind of place? I've commissioned my son to take care of it. He'll fill you in on the details, and hopefully will even guide you there. He's living in some abandoned wreck by the station at the moment. You'll find him there, if you haven't already. That won't be hard. And for the main course, the bachelor. He's in charge of everything around here at the moment. The circumstances demand so. I don't trust him. He's digging some dirt on us, I'm afraid. He's smart, though. Very smart. The big city rotter. You'd better get on his good side. He will keep digging, and he will be successful. And may give you some clues. And I'll make sure he doesn't hurt anything. Or anyone. Come by to see him. Don't put it off. Thank you, boss Vlad. Not at all. I've done so little for you, the times we live in, the mad and cruel times. But you will come into your father's inheritance. Talk to Alexander, and his wife even. Use the short break and immunity that you have while you have them. I'll come by later. They're both up there. Yes. A little concerned. He's like, I will destroy you at any cost. I'm like, that makes me not want to go to your house to get the key very much. They claim I have immunity, but that's hard to entirely believe when they're like talking about destroying at any cost. Changeling has made her choice. She has bestowed her crude grace upon the Saburovs. There is a really clear split where there's three leaders of this area and each of the three leaders is associated with one of the three playable characters because the changeling kept showing up at the at the Sabarov house later on. My dad and I would, would always protect you and give you shelter. We believe in you. Do you? I have already heard that Sabarov hates you. Katarina has scared him witless with her prophecies. It seems he believes you to be more terrible creature than Shabna Gandhi herself. If he gets absolute authority, we will have to hide you. We will demand- he will demand we turn you in. How can he get absolute authority? He will do so on the pretext of curbing the epidemic. Have you heard what the Bachelor has announced? No. 
If he told the truth, the rumor is to become a reality. Lord, help us all. It would be better if you two joined forces, then. As the news plain to Sabarov's hand. The Sabarovs have always been running things. They hold executive authority. That is the traditional role of their family. They were not actively needed when everything was going fine, but now his hour has come. I'm sure the outbreak has made outbreak has made him happy. He will make us all remember what the Sabarovs have. The what? <laughs> he will make us all remember what the Sabarovs' appanages are. Ap appanages. I don't. That's a new one. Uh, when is this likely to happen? It depends. If the bachelor's suspicions are correct, it could even happen tomorrow. Hopefully, it never does. Hopefully. Guess. Guess. Uh, pretty full inventory. 